In this video we're going to look at some more advanced editing. So here we're going to look at multi-track editing. So multi-track editing is just like it sounds, it means you're going to have more than one track. So this is one track, so this is one audio track, my voice, my recording. So if I want another track, it might be because I want some background music for example, or some sound effects, or it might even be that I want another voice as well, maybe somebody else speaking uh, if I want to bring in a clip. So if I was interviewing somebody, I might want to speak to introduce it and then bring in a clip of somebody else speaking for a little while before it goes back to my voice. So that's what multi-track editing can be good for. You can just put a lot of that stuff on the one track, so you could just have one after the other after the other, but if you want anything to overlap, so background music in particular, sound effects, then it has to be multi-track, and I'll show you how that works now. So first thing I'm going to do is to import uh, some audio. So this is how you import some external audio, if you have recorded it in the past, or if it's some background music. Okay, so here's my music tracks, MP3s or WAVs, that's what Audacity handles best. So uh, let's put it on to details, just check which one's which. These are all music tracks with uh, different lengths, so I'm just going to import a really short one, so that's 10 seconds. There we go. Straight away with music you can generally see that um, it's a lot louder. When you're recording your voice, you'll tend to record it quite quiet because that's what microphones tend to input. You can up you can up the uh, the input to make it louder, but that means you'll risk uh, overloading your microphone and clipping it, which makes it sound terrible. So it's better to record at this type of level and then uh, amplify it uh, just for sort of simple use anyway. Professional recorders will hope to um, to up it so that you're recording at the maximum before you clip it. But for our purposes, this is fine. Uh, I might have to amplify this though to match the music, so we'll see how that goes. But at the moment, we can see that there's two tracks here now. So you've got the first audio track, that's your voice, and then you've got the second track, which is the music. Now one thing you'll notice is that the second track seems to be stereo, and in fact it says there it's stereo, and here you can see mono. So you've just got the one track on the mono and two tracks in the stereo, that means you've got the left and the right ear. Uh, so, the big thing with multi-track editing is generally moving tracks around. So at the moment, this music is fully overlapping the speaking. So if I go back to the start and press play. So this is You can just about hear my speaking in the background, but because it's a lot quieter than the music, you can't really hear it much. But it's fully overlapping, which isn't too much use to us. So let's see when we fix that. So we want to shuffle things around here, and the tool we want for that is this little time shift tool. It's, got, it's like a line with two arrows on the end. So I'll click that, and this is the tool that lets us move tracks around. So if I click on the music, can see I can move it side to side. So I'm going to move it back to start. So I want the music at the start and then I want my speaking to come on afterwards. So you can see where the music dies off. You can see that it gets quieter and quieter and then it's slightly silent at the end. So I want my speaking to kick in just as the music quietens down. Okay. So that looks about right. What I'm going to do as well is that music is a bit long, it's 10 seconds long, so I'm going to chop off around half of it. Let's take it down to, in fact, I'm going to take it down to about 3 seconds. When you're chopping off stuff like this, the best idea is to go for the quiet points. So if I zoom in a little bit, I go for three seconds, there's nine there, so eight, seven, six. So actually that one I'll do right there, that looks like a nice quiet point. And I'm going to choose that, I'm going to scroll back to the start, and I'm going to take that whole section out. Click the delete button, and then zoom out. Now because I did that, because I clicked delete, it put the, uh, the rest of it back to 
uh, where the clip originally started so I'm going to have to move my voice now but that's fine so I'll just scroll it back along and I'll match it up just as I did before and then if I go back to the start if we play this clip so this is a voice recording normal volume and um, we're going to see and you can hear that the music plays and then my voice plays a little bit overlapping as the music fades out. And that's the kind of effect you can get with multi-track. You can have one track playing at the same time as another. So uh, you can have as many tracks as you want. You can import lots of different music, you can import lots of different voices. And in fact, many radio shows or complicated podcasts will have six or seven tracks all operating. Um, and you've got sound effects, voice, lots of different interviews, music, all that kind of stuff all going on at the same time. So I hope that gives you an introduction to uh, a little bit more advanced editing, which is multi-track editing and the time shift tool.